welcome back to another Is It Keto Friendly. So today's product is going to be the Aussie Bodies Collagen Plus Protein Salted Caramel Bar. Now, so many people still want to have a treat or a protein bar on a ketogenic diet. So this is another option that I've found, so it'll be interesting to see what the effects are. Now, as per usual, let's get the baseline for today's experiment. And this morning, I've been fasting. I've also had a gym session, which is very standard, and it's about two hours post-workout. So it'll be interesting to see what these numbers are at. So firstly, we've got the blood sugar at 4.4 millimole. So very standard for me. And secondly, we've got the blood ketones at a low 0.5 millimole. Anyway, I'm still in nutritional ketosis, so we'll run the experiment. Now, let's open up this collagen plus protein bar. So it looks like a chocolate bar of sorts. Let's have a little taste and see what it's like. So straight away I can taste the chocolate. It's quite pleasant. It's not overly sweet, but it is, it is quite nice. And secondly, definitely I can taste that salted caramel flavour. It kind of has a texture like a Milky Way bar, maybe a little bit more chewy. So interesting. Okay, so this bar is 60 grams and for today's experiment I'm going to eat that 60 grams. So let's take a look at the nutritional profile. So per bar, we're looking at 226 calories, 21 grams of protein, 7.1 grams of fat, and a claimed 1.3 grams of carbohydrates. Now, you need to be aware we've got 5.3 grams of sorbitol, 5.8 grams of maltitol, and 6.7 grams of glycerol. Now, these are a combination of sugar alcohols and artificial sweeteners, and when you break down the calories in this bar, it actually looks like it's closer to 20 grams of carbohydrates. So you need to be aware of that one. But anyway, like I always say, this is a, just another experiment. So it tastes quite good, so we'll continue. Now, before I finish this bar off, let's take a look at the ingredient profile. A few types of protein emulsifiers, dark chocolates with no added sugar, cocoa butter, sweeteners, caramel flavoured chips, canola oil, flavours, salt and sugar syrup. So looking in that ingredient profile, it's quite clear that this isn't great as far as ingredient profiles go, but it is what it is. So let's just finish it off and we'll see what the outcome is. So there you have it, the Collagen Plus Protein Bar down the hatch. I'll wait two hours and I'll come back and test my blood sugar and blood ketone levels again. I'll see you in two hours. Welcome back. So it's been just over two hours since I had the Salted Caramel Collagen Protein Bar. Now in that two hour time frame, I actually did feel a little bit tired and I've been watching a bit of TV, so doing nothing strenuous. So it'll be interesting to see what the effect on the blood sugar and blood ketone levels has been. So firstly, we've got the blood sugar up from 4.4 millimole to 4.8 millimole. And secondly, we've got the blood ketone levels down from 0.5 millimole to 0.2 millimole. So there you have it. It looks like those sugar alcohols have had an impact on my ketone level. And like I said, I did feel a little bit tired throughout that period. And I'm not now in nutritional ketosis. But like I always say, you need to test these products on yourself because everybody does react differently. And you may have a different uh, experience than I have. But for me, on today's activity levels, it appears that the collagen plus protein salted caramel protein bar is in fact not ketogenic 
But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.